Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Such Plants, I'm Simon and today I'm going to be taking you through my first ever plant swap. I've been keeping plants for a while now but I've never managed to be able to go to one of the plant swaps because they've always been on a Saturday. So luckily for me, uh, this latest plant swap that has been organized um, was on a Sunday and I was able to attend. Um, I have put uh, together a whole bunch of plants, or I did put together a whole bunch of plants. And um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert some footage here of uh, what, I'm what I took to the swap. And then what I'm gonna do is once I've run through that and maybe a little bit of a walkthrough of how the plant swap went and what was available and, and how it looked, we'll come back to now and we will have a look at what I managed to swap out my plants for. Let's have a look at what I took with me. So I am just getting ready to head out to the plant swap. Originally, this was the only box I was gonna take. There's a Pistatum, Dapsus, Baleoanum, Florida, Bill Marks, Vero Cuttings, Ethereum Magnificum, and I'll chalk over it that I'm actually swapping with somebody from out of town, so I'm just taking that with to give to somebody else who's gonna pass it along. Gloriosum, Milano, and another tiny Magnificum. And then I couldn't hold back because then I thought, well, maybe get some extra stuff in. An Escalito, String of Hearts, Two caladiums in there, another balearanum. The serpents is really just like a wet stick. Tendonium elbow, three kings. Super cute. So yeah, let's see. This is my first swap, so I'm interested to see how it works and what I come home with. I'll keep you guys updated. All packed, ready to go. Okay, so here we are back home. This is my haul behind me. But first I wanna just show you this. This was the goodie bag that we got. Inside it is some cool stuff. Perlite, fertilizer, neem oil, foliar feed, sticker, a gift voucher for a nursery, vegetable seeds, just something to make your soil a little bit more healthy for the plants. And then this really cool Monstera keyring, which I think is so cute and I can't wait to put that on my keyring. Got to say that this whole event was organized really, really well. It went very smoothly, it was really well attended and it was super fun. There was also a raffle, so when you arrived you put your name down and there were three prizes, which was great and super fun as well. And a talk, which was very uh, informative and interesting. But let's get down to the plants because that's what these swaps are all about. Let me start with the non party stuff that I got. I got this very cute little bag. And then I also got this really cool moss pole, which I think um, I'm gonna plant one of my new plants on. Yeah, this is a, a really, really nice moss pole. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when I grow something on that. A lot of these plants are really new to me and I'm not 100% sure of the names yet. Okay, come kitty. 
So if I don't know the name of the plant, I will see if I can do some research and then just put it at the bottom of the screen, just to write it down for you guys so that you can see what it is. And if I do research and I'm unable, I'll just put maybe a question mark, give you as much information as I can. But um, this is the great thing about swaps is that we end up with plants that sometimes even the owners of those plants don't know what they are. Um, and you get to experiment and watch something grow and then maybe get it identified at a later stage and, and whatever. And you end up also with plants that you might not necessarily buy for yourself or look at in a nursery or in an online store. So it gives you a little bit more variety, which is what I like about this kind of stuff. I'm not sure the exact uh, one, but this is a Caladium. I really like spotty leaves it's very very cute this is begonia black magic although the owner of this plant wasn't 100 percent sure on that she quite specifically said it was sold to me as begonia black magic but um i really like how sort of creepy it is coming up to halloween kind of those spiky hairy leaves and that dark red foliage really really nice i like this one a lot this is a hoya i want to say cornosa but it could be something else i'm not really that familiar with hoyas and uh, identifying them so this is a hoya bella that i picked up you can see it's in flower which is super cute i'm so glad i was able to get this guy Slightly fragrant, but I think this is maybe one of those Hoyas that gets a little bit more fragrant in the evenings. So, no, slightly fragrant. I'll check in on it a little later and see if I can smell anything more. This is a Philodendron Flower Mania from my friend Sabia. She's got a great, great collection. A new leaf coming through, which I'm excited about. This is the Medium Silver. I think this plant actually fenestrates as it gets bigger and it's got a really nice silvery sheen to it, which I like. Similar to the Hastatum, maybe a slightly deeper green underneath, but also I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's not a plant that I specifically would have gone out and bought, but now that I see it, I actually really like it. So it's one of those things where it kind of worked out that it was in a swap. I lost my philodendron micans through winter. I want to blame the cold, but I suspect I may have forgotten to water it. But let's blame the cold for now. Let's say that it was the cold. So I'm excited to have one of these guys back. I might actually put this guy on the pole. Maybe. This is such a cool plant. This is an Anthurium, I forget the name, so I'm gonna put it down at the bottom. Um, but it's got such a nice shape to it and a really nice texture on the leaves. It's really nice. And it grows almost in a fern-like pattern, I wanna say, I, I don't know. It just, the, it's really nice, I, it's, I think. One of those plants that you look at and then the more you look at it the more you fall in love with it and the more amazed you are by what it is it's really nice hey begonia i do like begonias actually i find them super interesting um i've got the polka dot this is a variety of polka dot i guess i don't really know exactly what it is, but I'm excited to grow it. This is a, an unrooted, it was in water, uh, so I think, um, also from Sabia actually. I think she just cut it before she came to the swap, so I'll just maybe pop it into some perlite probably, and then into the humidity chamber. It's so pretty. I think, you know, underestimated sometimes. This is a pothos, and I completely forgot what the name was. Um, something green, green pothos, something. If I can figure it out before I post this video, it will be obviously written down at the bottom. But um, really cute. I do like pothos, so 
I'm excited to see how this guy grows and what he turns into. He does, there is like a little bit of subtle sort of green on green variegation in the leaves. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. Another oil. Nice little bigger fleshier leafed hoya. Really nice. One of my favorite plants actually. I've had two of these before. I managed to analyze both of them because I didn't realize how cold sensitive they were. And the first one I had, I had repotted at the end of summer. And when it didn't make it through winter, I just assumed that I'd done something wrong with the repot. It was just when I was first starting to collect plants. So I assumed that it was because of that. And then I got a second one, which was doing amazingly well, but I didn't keep it in the room that I normally uh, keep my plants in in winter. I thought it was quite hardy cold wise, but it did exactly the same thing as my first one did through winter. So I'm assuming that it's because of the cold and with this one, I'm going to look after much better through the colder months and give it some warm temperatures and hopefully we'll see that he makes it through. This is new growth. Super cute. But I love philodendron Florida and this is one of the parents of philodendron Florida. So I'm glad that I have him again now. A cute little peperomia. Not sure what kind, but I like the texture on those leaves. Very cute. This, I think, is a Magnificum. I do have Magnificum already. And in fact, I took some Magnificum through to the swap. But what I liked about this one was how dark this leaf is. It does seem a little darker than the, in the Magnificums I have. So I'll be interested to see, once this one gets a little bit bigger, how he looks next to my another plant. This definitely does seem to be a darker leaf. So yeah, interested to see how that turns out. This is another Hoya. I'm slowly getting more and more into my Hoya. Um, in the beginning, I didn't really understand what the fuss was about. They all looked the same to me, but the, I, I, you know, you can slowly, the more you look at them, the more you can see those subtle differences in the veining in the leaves. And I think also once they start to flower, if I ever manage to get a Hoya to flower, then I think that's where they, they, they really shine. I keep mostly aroids uh, like philodendron and um, anthurium who either don't generally flower or when they do flower, it's kind of an insignificant flower. So the Hoya will bring some nice color to my collection if I can get them to flower. A string of turtles. And this plant um, was the free gift. And it, when everybody came in, this is the gift. You could choose a plant off the tables. I chose a string of turtles because cute. Look, how cute. Had to adopt him. This is the philodendron 69686. 68696, six, sixes, nines, eights, numbers. The numbery one, I'll put it down below. Um, but actually, like when I look at the plants that I've got, this this sort of, I would say like a Florida type leaf shape with the, the lobes on the ends and like a bulbous tip. I really do like plants that have this leaf shape actually. Um, and I, I really have uh, been looking for this plant as well. I also like that it has a number for a name. It's like unique in that way. Alocasia green something, something green. I'll try and find the actual name. Also really pretty. I, I got to admit, I mostly kill Alocasia. I'm going to do my best to keep this one alive. I, I don't know. We'll see. I, 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 I struggle a, a, a little bit. I, let's see. This may be the first and last time you see it on my channel. As you can see again, that kind of lobed leaf pattern that I like so much. This is Syngonium Tri-Leaf Wonder. Uh, I swapped this with one of my favorite planty people, Vivian. She has been amazing with helping with her incredible knowledge on plants and just 
connecting me with people and swapping great plants and making lots of plants available to me that wouldn't have been without her. So I really appreciate Vivian. Uh, and I really like this plant as well. It's such a cool plant. And I, I got this towards the end of the swap. And I don't know how I managed to snag it because I don't know why it wasn't snapped up. I think that Vivian was probably, she's one of the organizers. So I think she was probably running around and wasn't manning her table for a long time. So I think I just got really lucky and just happened to walk past as she got back to the table. But I really, this is a very cool plant and I love it so much. And then these were from the adopter table. So there was a table where you could just drop off plants for free and you could pick up plants and take or give and whatever. Um, and I have no idea what they are, but this one will have a white flower. And this one, I think will have a red flower. Roy is red in Afrikaans. I'll pop these in some substrate and see how we go. I'm excited to see what they turn into. And that is the sum total of everything that I managed to get uh, through the weekend. I gotta say that it, you know, if you don't have plant swaps in your area, but you do have a community that you chat to on WhatsApp, it, it, it's so worthwhile to try and arrange something, maybe not even as organized and as big as this one was, because it was really, really good. But it's just nice to be able to meet the people that you chat to on WhatsApp, uh, on WhatsApp groups and, and maybe through your Insta. Um, it really is so nice to meet people in person. Planty people are the best. We just had such a great time today. Part of what I love about the swap is that it gives people who don't necessarily have massive budget for indoor plants the ability to maybe get something or a cutting of something or a little uh, propagation of something that they wouldn't necessarily generally be able to afford and it just includes everybody and I just think that that is uh, one of the amazing things of the plant community and so that's why I think these plant swaps are really great so that we can actually meet face to face with people a lot of us are introverts I myself am one it might not seem like it but I really uh, am not somebody who goes out and socializes a lot so when um, I can meet up with people that have similar interests to me it really does sort of make my heart happy so thank you to everybody who was there it was really really cool meeting all of you and um, thank you to the organizers you did just the most amazing job with this one it was so well organized and it must have taken a lot of work so i just really want you to know that myself i'm very thankful and i'm sure that everybody there was amazingly thankful Thanks for sticking around. I hope that I didn't ramble on too much at the end of the video. I will see in the edits if I can cut any of that out for you guys so you don't have to listen to me hana hana on. Um, but uh, hopefully I will have a video for you next week. Last week I know I skipped a week. I had a sore back so I didn't do a video but um, I do have two other videos that I have planned. Uh, I'm not sure which one will be next week but I guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out. See you next time.